all right guys uh today uh we're going to do a uh, oil change uh this is a mercedes uh this is uh, a gl uh 250 uh but this procedure guys can apply to uh cla 250 and uh a 250 so it's almost the same on the whole procedure so uh let's begin so guys uh when you come to you uh to the car and then you start it up uh, legislation which and then guys uh, right here uh, right here guys is saying uh, service A exited uh, by 10 days so today guys I'm going to show you uh, how to perform a uh, service A on a Mercedes uh, CLA GLA and A250 all of them are uh, the same procedure so uh, first things first we just turn off the engine and then uh, you open the door so give you some space and then you come down right here guys there's a red button you just uh, open like that you will hear poop and then the hood uh, is going to open up uh, once that is done <coughs> uh, you come to the front of the engine and then you just put your hand right here and then there's a uh, there's a lever guys the yellow the yellow thing right there you just push it like that and then you just lift like this you use uh, this kind of uh, is a hood stand you just take it out from here all right and then uh, you put it right here where's this yellow thing let it enter inside like that and then this hood is going to be up and then guys uh, first things first you take out this uh, cover so you pull it from this side all right it's a bit tight then you pull it from the side too. It's, uh, it's really tight, guys. So uh, you just need to push it with some strength. Alright, our cover is up. So this cover is covered by our four uh is our four hooks. Let's go here and here and here. So you can put the uh, cover somewhere uh, safe. And guys, uh, you come right here. This is our oil. Uh, this is our oil cup. You just open it up. So uh, the importance of opening up our oil cup is to make sure that when we're draining up the oil, there is no oil which is remaining. It just like it drains more faster because air goes through here. There's nothing like a vacuum in the engine, so it's going to drain quick. And then after that, you come, guys, here next to this, uh, next to the dipstick right here we have our oil filter so you're going to use uh is a is a 20 yes guys uh, so this uh 27 millimeter you just use uh, something maybe with an extension and then uh you open up the oil filter so that the oil can drain and uh guys if the car has been running like uh, just immediately when you're doing your oil change uh, just open slightly you don't need to open all the way because oil is inside in the filter and if you open all the way it's gonna pour all the way down there so you just need to open just a little bit and then you let it drain by itself and then you can proceed you can go uh, below the car and then you can start draining the oil and then we can finish up this later on so you take your turn seven since my car guys has been running for a minute so I'll just open just a little bit and then uh, and also guys when you're opening to avoid uh, this thing normally breaks easily so it's recommended you just take it out take it all the way and then maybe just put on a safe place just put it somewhere safe so that you don't break it up and then you continue uh, opening uh, your filter So uh, once I open a little bit, then that should be good to go. Should be able uh, to open the rest. <sighs> like that, with my arm, just slowly like that. So guys, but because the car has been running, so I'll just uh, leave it just right there. Once it's just free, like that, and then I can proceed from below. Uh, 
uh, once our car is up in the lift uh, you can proceed with the second phase so uh, guys I'm using a special lift but you don't need to have a special lift you can just use uh, just a regular uh, floor jacks and then once that is up you come right here is this uh, is eight millimeter you open this one then you open this and then there is just a last one right here and then this uh, this cover guy is going to be uh, is going to come forward because of this uh, kind of hooks which hook up here so it will come forward like this and then it will give us access uh, to the oil pan to the drain plug and then we can drain from there all right let's begin all right so we come right here guys so uh, uh, this thing comes like this from here so it just disconnects and then gives us all this uh, access and then guys our drain plug is just right here so guys you uh, you open uh, the drain plug this is a uh, 13 millimeter you get it out of the way now once that comes out guys uh, this uh, uh, the oil the oil will uh, will just uh, will come from here it will drip all the way here but make sure guys you have something to catch it and then guys uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, drain plug it always has a seal do not forget to include it when you're putting it back so you make sure all this oil uh, drains out all of it Uh, once it does finish uh, dripping, the oil comes out uh, as drained. So you just come right here. You put this back. Right, so uh, this is all good and then uh, the last thing to do is you have to clean this area you just make sure this area is clean you don't leave a dirty area after uh, working on it it's important to leave it clean so that in case there's a leak uh, tomorrow or another day you'll be able to tell that there's a leak in the uh, in the drain plug area so when it's cleaned properly like this it should be able to look good all right at follows you bring back our cover and then you just properly uh you just properly pour in right there all right just like that let it just go through there like that and then you come back right here Sorry guys, I'm just using one hand to pull this thing. So if you used your two hands, it'd be much easier to put it back. So guys, uh, you, you, as you come up to the car, we can take out our, uh, our filter, so everything is drained, so I don't need to worry, 
it's just small drips gonna drip just a little bit so you can just take it out like that and this is our filter uh, right there we go so uh, guys uh, when we take this out is uh, we can change the filter and then uh, after changing the filter we can put back uh, the oil so uh, this engine guys uh, GL, uh, CLA uh, GLA and then A it normally takes a uh, 5.9 quarts uh, this is a four cylinder so 5.9 quarts so oh, that's what it normally takes and then guys always change your filter when you're replacing uh, your oil so guys uh, this is uh, my oil my filter so uh, I'm using uh, this is a motor tool it is a 0w40 so it's what I'm gonna use it's really recommended from a city it's really nice now this is my filter I really normally recommend uh, using a man filter it really lasts longer and then it's uh, more reliable it's not like other filters this is just as as it's just as the same as the one which you buy from a city so it just works fine so I really recommend this kind of uh, this brand man filter is good all right let's uh, continue the process Alright, so uh, I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna put this on here. So this is what is uh, inside. This is right here. So we have our filter right here. And then guys we have our seals which goes in there. So Hey guys you make sure you you, uh, you push it all the way and you hear it snap so when it snaps that means it's, it's seated well so we can put this one back guys you can now tighten all right and that is
is done guys uh, our filter is good it's seated well so we just put in our oil Alright guys, uh, once that is done, uh, you put back uh, the oil cap. There you go. And then guys, do not forget to put, uh, to check uh, the level. Just, just put all the way, and dipstick. And then guys, you can pull it out. So you can see the level is already there. So we're good to go. Uh, so once you put a uh, 5.9 quarts, just uh, literally just like six quarts, uh, it should be good to go. And then guys, uh, the last thing, uh, we put back the cover. We can put back uh, the cover. All right, you just make sure you align uh, the, the dipstick and then you align uh, this right here. And then guys, uh, this thing is going to it's going to go in just like that and then uh, I always like cleaning yes make sure this thing looks good because once you do the oil you want, you want to make sure the engine looks nice and clean all right there we go so engine looks good so guys, uh, we're done from, uh, with this part. So now we have to clear uh, the service light because we already done our oil. So that means guys, the next thing we have to clear our service light and then we should be good to go. Alright guys, uh, to reset uh, the oil service, so when you start, you start your car, it will show you guys that uh, service A is exceeded by uh, 10 days, so what you do to do that, you just switch off your ignition, and then come, and then you just uh, you turn it on once, once that is done guys, uh, make sure you put this back make sure right there guys it's showing uh it's just showing the mileage so guys uh once you make sure it's showing the mileage right in there so uh, what you do uh you hold the the, the 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 button for calling right here the call button and then you hold okay together but when it brings the odometer like that guys you just come back you just start holding here and then here you start with the call and then you hold it for a minute and then that screen comes out so when that screen comes out guys what you do you come down until uh, assist plus so when in assist plus you press ok it says uh, service uh, dead, uh, de data and then it says full you scroll down you come to full you press ok it says service one you come down to con uh, confirm a full service you press ok and then guys you go all the way uh, to 229 uh, that's a grade 5 one or you can use any grade you just uh, you, you prescribe which grade you used so I've just used 22952 and then press ok right there and then you say all service uh, carried out you come down you say 
yes so we say uh, cannot be undone so that's why guys it's really important you do this only when you do your alting because you don't want to be like just giving you you're resetting your uh, your car and then you end up spoiling your engine because your oil is overdue and is full of uh, uh particles and stuff so what you do you make sure once you do this make sure you've done your oil chain so uh, you come down then you confirm you say okay and then uh once you you say okay you say full service could not be carried out So guys, uh, apparently uh, uh, the service has reset. I think I did it twice. So uh, if you want to confirm if your service is done, you just come, uh, you just click right here. You, you go all the way to service, which is right here. And then you scroll down. You scroll down until uh, assist plus, and then you press okay. So it will tell you uh, the next service is in 365 days. So guys, our service is reset, and then uh, once that is done, uh, it should be good to go. But normally, it's supposed to tell you a uh, service uh, confirmed or service uh, completed successfully, something like that. And then you should be good to go. All right, guys. Uh, another way of uh, another way, guys, of telling if your service is reset is you just take your key out. And then once you take it out, you just put it in, and then you start your car. Once you start it, it tells you uh, service B uh, is in 365 days. So the earlier message, uh, warning message is gone. So that means your service is clear. So that means you have to go for another year. And then you should be good to go. So that should be like an indication that your service is reset. All right. I hope you guys have a nice time as you fix, uh, as you do your oil change at home. I'll see you in the next video and stay safe out there and drive safe.